you stuck up half-witted, scruffy-looking nerf herder? Hey guys, what's going on? Benji here. Uh, your favorite nerf herder. I've got a product to review, actually, today. Um, I've got a couple videos I want to pump out. Um, this one is for um, blade plugs. So a good friend of mine, TJ Wells, um, I'm sure you guys have heard, I've done uh, videos with his name, dropped quite a bit because uh, he helped um, make my corn horn speeder bike built for me. And um, he's just a very positive person in the community, very cool dude. And I've um, been doing it for a while now. And uh, I usually come to him with some machining questions. I'm like, hey man, <laughs> can you make me a pommel like this and that? Or what do you think about this? Because, you know, I, during some builds, I have, you know, just like any of us who customize sabers fully, you, you know, you the wheels start turning and you're like, what if I could get this machined and just, I just need this one little part. So he's pulled through for me on a couple different things. But, um, so Ignition Saber Company is, he sent me a sticker too, which I was stoked to get. I love stickers. Um. And I'll leave a link to the description to his page if you're not a fan of uh, his work. He has Ignition Saber Company Facebook page. Um, go and follow it. Uh, you know, hit like button. Hit, hit the like button, and um, and you can see all that stuff. Which he has a bunch of blade plugs that he's now offering. And I believe <laughs> you wrote me another note. I love that so much about you, dude. Um, yeah, he wants to keep these. Uh, his plan is to keep these blade plugs. In stock for uh, you know um, current stock that uh, they'll be supplying, and from the look of it on the page, uh, the blade plugs are thirty-five dollars each, which is pretty good. And you can add NeoPixel to them, NeoPixel connectors from Saber Bay or Space Windows PCBs. So yeah, you can. Um, I'm not sure if he's offering them as NeoPixel. I'm sure maybe he'll plan to, but for now, I believe he machines the, uh, the pieces. So he sent me two, and I was like, awesome, because I need to make some blade plugs, and I'm lazy. And um, I was like, yeah, oh, yeah, man, I'm going to need some more of these. I love it, too. Uh, so he does machining work, and it's very nice, very nicely machined. Feels good, looks good. I haven't weathered it. I haven't done anything to it. But this design has a little bit of like a crown. I'm sorry, guys. It's a little hard to show off. This kind of stuff sometimes when it's shiny brass. Or, I mean, uh, aluminum. But uh, it has like a like a Graflex push pin in there, which I'm just a sucker for. And it looks good. Uh, looks like they're made from a uh, thin wall, one-inch blade stock. Custom Saber Shop, and the one that I was really happy about, I already take have taken out, and um, I'll show you. Um, I was stoked about it because as soon as I saw it, I was like, "Oh, that tickles my fancy." Which, by the way, <laughs> these 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 things are fancy. You, you were right; these things are fancy. In the letter, he told, he made sure to let me know that, and also on the box, uh, <laughs> "Fancy Benjamin Graham" was on the label, and I was like, "Oh my gosh." That just made my day. I was just checking the mailbox, and I was like, I was like, what? And I was like, oh my goodness. Um, so, a blade plug. The second blade plug he got uh, in the in the box for me was this turbine style one. I'm a huge sucker for turbine style blade plugs. I think they're really cool. I myself make um, some from you know razors that at, um, you know I just throw some together. It's usually just a very fun base for me to do. I'm definitely not the first person to do it. Um, there's obviously I mean, there's so many ways you can make a blade plug. Um, I know everyone's been on this kick lately about stealing designs and whatnot. Um, shouldn't steal designs, but at the same time, um, I mean, blade plugs are blade plugs, man. There's, uh, I take literally a sh razor shaver, put it in a blade stock. I mean, I can throw other things in it, but it is what it is. Anyways, um, this is really cool. Way more detailed than what I did with mine. So it has a little machine part, and this turbine, I believe, is 
three D printed, but I could be wrong because it feels pretty sturdy. But yeah. Anyways, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and light this one up, and I'll pull it out. <laughs> Look at that though. I haven't diffused it or really done anything to it, so it, it doesn't have. So you're, you're gonna get hit with that full on light because I don't have no diffusion in there whatsoever. But you get the idea of it. Looks really cool. See the design in there? It's really cool. Oop. sitting in this one was really made me happy too because this is you know uh tj and the blade plus tj so this is like yeah this is like almost all you bro <laughs> uh, i mean i did the weathering i did this little end cap thing and i did the install but um he designed it he machined these grooves into the grip and <laughs> Super cool. I really love this play plug. Um, so I didn't have. Make sure I got. I didn't have uh, a thin walled um, NeoPixel connector piece. So this is kind of ghetto. Just for a second. So I shortened mine to fit that saber because I immediately was like, it's going to the corner line. No, no doubt about it. Both of them came this size. I shaved mine down to here to fit correct, to fit in there. But yeah, I didn't have um, a thin walled connector end piece. So, um, but yeah, the machining on was really cool. I love it. I haven't weathered it. I haven't done anything to it. Um, I may scratch that up a little bit, see if I get it to shine. This one, I'll probably do some aluminum black in there and you know, do my thing. Um, the one thing about these blade plugs, you may have to sand them down. Oh, they, are little, whoop. <laughs> they are a little tight. Uh, it's just the nature of making some blade plugs sometimes. Um, you know, the inserts being in there, you probably got to shape it down a little bit, but even that is kind of hard to get in there a little bit. But again, sanding it down. If you've never sanded down a blade plug, you've never made a blade plug. <laughs> so it just takes that little time. And then... This one's just going to be around the wall. Again, no diffusion in there. This is just how they came. Obviously, you know, if you're a customizer like I am, you want to do your own thing on it. I love weathering up anything I got. So the one thing about uh, using these is um, you're going to need to diffuse the inside. Usually what I do, I mean, some people will go the full mile and make the, uh, when you make blades, you have your, styro your little styrofoam diffuser that you slide your strip into you can use that what I do is um, I use this is the one time I use hot glue like like a good bit and I don't care uh, I will pour a good layer of hot glue like I'll just pour it in until it kind of lavas in and create and builds up a good enough space and then what that does is add weight to the front anyways so you slide it out and it'll fall out and it'll also diffuse this whole area perfectly so I've just always felt that was the easiest way for me to go about this kind of stuff. And it's worked fine since. 
I do it in almost all my Neon Pixel Blade plugs. Um, the ones that are extremely bright and need diffusing. So, um, I'll leave a, a link in the description for where you can get them. And um, yeah, so $35, $35, and he has a bunch of different kinds too. This was just the ones that he sent me. Um, there's different lengths, there's different sizes. I'm not sure how he's going to go about all that. I know he's just starting this out. But um, let's see. Yeah, 3D printing is for some of the pieces. And then some of the pieces. So it's a mix of 3D printing and, um, and custom machined aluminum. And I'm sure he's going to have a lot more fun and come up with a lot more designs. I would. I would, be t I would be playing all day long with them. I mean, right now I have a lot of fun making blade plugs. But I've done them so much that I kind of I don't really venture too far. Like if I have to make a blade plug, I usually just get my little spare parts drawer full of random stuff, you know, and I dig through it and make my blade plugs that way. And I've always used the um, the razor as a base. I think it looks great. It's fun, but these are awesome, and it's nice to not have to build it myself so once I get this sanded diffused and then get the proper size blade plug or uh, proper size connector this is going to be one of my favorites to sit in this I mean it looks so good in there huge fan but um yeah really appreciate it TJ um, what you say? You're going to take over the lightsaber world one blade plug, one blade plug at a time. I believe you, buddy. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go check it out. Um, he offers lots of services as well. Um, it, it, you know, you, you can talk to him about custom machining. Um, uh, for all my scrap tech lovers out there, he's got a plan for, um, since the 2.0 kits and all that stuff are kind of going out, he's got a plan to uh, make a holder and all that stuff so super stoked about that um another reason to follow his page all right guys well that'll do it for me um i hope that that was informative for you as far as another option for blade plugs um i know there's plenty out there uh people who make them but um everyone has their own spin on them and that's always fun to see but go out there support your local makers um everyone who's making anything i mean it takes time and effort and you get i honestly after doing a lot of stuff and like spending a lot of hours on making things i'm really breaking it down this hobby seems expensive to a lot of people but some stuff i'm like no that's that's more than reasonable like it can, it can take a minute for you to do something so blade plugs for me have never been something that i've been like oh you know I've always thought that blade plugs and blades and stuff like that is always really reasonably priced because it's a lot of work that goes into it. Um, tedious work, um, sanding, whatever you guys do. So go out there, man. If you guys are in need of something different, <laughs> I really want to, I, I just want to, I just want to weather the crap out of this so bad. It's going to look great once it's all dirty and weathered. All right. So yeah, you guys go out there. Like his page, um, shoot him a message. Uh, yeah, I think this is uh, the different blade plugs that he has. I'm sure will be a um, uh, is, is a constantly stocked item that he wants to provide. So, all right, guys, that'll do it for this part um, of my videos that are coming out. I got a few that I'll be releasing over the next few days. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. My home, slimy. My home, this is. Who's scruffy looking?